Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Tin et bienvenue à French 2311, chapitre 3, leçon 7. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier les adjectifs, les formes masculines et les formes féminines des adjectifs, le masculin et le féminin des adjectifs en français. J'espère que vous allez très bien. Que les adjectifs, les, 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 les adjectifs en français, pardon, les adjectifs qualificatifs en français. Que adjectif qualificatif. L'adjectif qualificatif. Page 70, 70, 70. That's how you say 17 in French. You say 60, 60 first, then 10. So 60, 10, 70, 70. Page... 70, 70, 73. Here, because you said this, the next number will be on. So to say 71, you will say 71, 71, 72, 72, and then 73. 73, 73. L'adjectif qualificatif. Facile, difficile, hypocrite, drôle. Facile, difficile, hypocrite, drôle. OK. In number one, those adjectives have an E at the end, an E at the end. So you see that those adjectives have E, E, E. Facile, difficile, hypocrite, drôle. If a masculine adjective has this type of E, the E is silent, it's not pronounced. If it has this type of E, then the masculine adjective is not changed. It will stay the same. The masculine adjective will stay the same when it becomes a feminine adjective. That means that you don't add anything. It's good for both masculine adjective and feminine adjective. You know that in French, adjectives who agree in number and gender with the nouns they describe. So that if a noun is masculine, the adjective will be masculine. Masculine singular, the adjective will be masculine singular. If the noun is feminine singular, the adjective will be feminine singular. If those nouns become plural, then the adjective will have to be plural. So adjectives in French will, will agree in number and gender with the nouns they describe. The nouns they describe. The nouns that they modify. Okay, so here if an adjective has e, 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 e à la fin, the e is not pronounced, okay? So, the masculine form, that's not changed. It's good for both 
masculine and feminine masculine and feminine masculine and feminine masculine and feminine but if the adjective has this type of e with the accent on top of the e marié marié where the e is pronounced or divorcé where the e is pronounced for the adjective to become feminine you have to add another e okay so here marié you add another e here for it to become feminine and then another e here for it to become feminine so marié marié the pronunciation is the same the one without the extra e is used for masculine singular nouns like you want to say a nom mari a married man if you want to say a married woman you will say une femme mariée une femme mariée the same sound but there you add another a an extra e okay if you want to say a divorced woman then you will say une femme divorcée une femme divorcée with an extra e très bien okay you do the same thing with the adjectives in group two amusant grand petit américain for amusant to become feminine you add e for grand to become feminine you add e okay for petit to become feminine you add e for américain to become feminine you add e okay the sounds will change a lot of bit amusant masculin will become amusant when you add your extra e for it to become feminine okay petit will become petite petite petit a hey you know you hear the t's now grand 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 you don't hear the d if it becomes feminine then the d is pronounce so grand 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 amusant amusante grand grand petit petite américain américaine feminine forms okay the t is pronounced the d is pronounced the t is pronounced in group three the F will change to a V before you add your E for the adjective to be feminine. So naïf will become naïve. Sportif will become sportive. Okay, so the F will change into a V before you add your E here. Naïve, naïve. And then sportif will become sportive the feminine form the f changes to a v before you add your e okay here see the x the x will change to an s so R will become so the S would take the place of X here before you add your E. R repetit R the masculine form R and then the feminine form R -s, R -s. So R masculine R -s, feminine Parisu Parisseux, we've come across Parisseux before, lazy, if you want to say lazy girl, a lazy girl, then the X will change to an S before you add your E.
se parer, se parer, seus. Ok. Same thing happens with the final R here. The R will change to an S before you add your E for the adjective to become feminine. So, travailleur, travailleur, we come across, cross, we come, we've come across travailleur before, it means hard working. Très bien. So, if you want to say a hard working woman, okay, then the R will change to an S before you add your E. So, travailleur. Travail use travail use the feminine form R will change to an S before you add your E. Okay, here E N E I L I L I L E L pardon E N I L E L in group six, you will double the final consonant. You add an extra consonant before you add your E. So, Italian, Italian will become Italian. Gentil, gentil will become gentil. The same sound, but you have two L's before the E. Gentil, gentil, to L. The same thing here. You double the L before you add your E. Un intellectuel, un intellectuel, un intellectuel. Italien, italienne, gentil, gentil, intellectuel, intellectuel. You double the final consonant. Before adding your E's. Okay. <clears throat> In group 7, you have three forms of the adjective. You have two masculine forms and one feminine form. Bo, bel, 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 bel. The same sound. Bo, bel, bel. Bo means handsome. A beautiful, bel, bel. <clears throat> this is masculine. This is masculine. This last one is <clears throat> feminine. You use the first masculine now, masculine adjective to describe a masculine now that begins with a consonant. Okay. So there you can say a beau and then garçon a masculine singular noun that begins with a consonant and beau garçon if <clears throat> the masculine singular noun begins with a vowel then you have to use the middle masculine Adjective. So, bel masculine will be used with a singular masculine noun that begins with a vowel. So, ami, ami, a boyfriend, okay, a boyfriend, a male friend, right? So you use bel, un bel ami, un bel ami, un bel ami. Okay, liaison, un bel ami. Okay, this last one, the feminine form, is, is used for my, uh, feminine nouns, feminine nouns, whether they begin with a vowel or not. Okay, so in... Belle, femme, a beautiful woman. You can also say, 
une belle amie. The feminine form of friend with an E at the end. So, belle, feminine, can be used with a noun, a feminine singular noun, beginning with a consonant or a singular feminine noun beginning with a vowel. It does not matter. The middle masculine form, belle, is only used with masculine singular nouns that have a vowel in front of them. Okay, the same thing with nouveau. So, beau, beautiful or handsome, nouveau means new. Nouveau, nouvelle, nouvelle. Okay, so here, if you want to say a new book, a new book, you say a nouveau, Leave. See, it does not begin with a vowel. It begins with a consonant. So you use nouveau. If, however, the masculine singular noun begins with a vowel, then you have to use nouvelle masculine. Nouvelle masculine. The middle adjective. Okay. So, if you want to say a new student, a new masculine student, okay, see that étudiant begins with a vowel. So you say un nouvel étudiant, un nouvel étudiant, un nouvel étudiant. If the student is feminine, a female student, and she is new, then you use nouvelle. Okay, so here you will say une nouvelle et tu diante. Une nouvelle étudiante féminine, une nouvelle masculin en nouvelle. Ok. Now, here, blanc, when we were learning the colors, remember, blanc means white. Alright? Masculine, if blanc, like you want to say a white uh, table. Right? A white table. A white chair will be used differently from a white um, book, for instance, right? A white table will be different from a white book, right? A white book. For instance, here you will say blanc before you add your E for it to become feminine, there's an H. So, blanc, masculin, and then blanche, blanche, blanc. The C is silent, and then you have a nasal vowel A and the nasal vowel blanc, and then blanche, blanc, masculin. Blanche feminine. So, un blanc, cahier, a white notebook, un blanc, avec C, don't forget the C, it's pronounced blanc, but it is written with a C. Un blanc, cahier, a white notebook, but Une blanche table, a white table, blanc, masculin, blanche, féminin. In group nine, these are adjectives 
adjectives that are invariable. It means that these adjectives don't change in a masculine situation, if you can say that, or a feminine situation, or uh, in a plural setting, all right? So they will remain the same when they describe masculine nouns, they will remain the same when they describe feminine nouns, they will remain the same when the nouns are plural. You don't change anything. These adjectives are based on fruits in French. Marron, 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 orange, orange, orange. Color orange is based on the fruit orange. Now marron is brown, brown. It's based on the fruit chestnut so chestnut brown those two adjectives don't change so you can say une table marron a brown table and then you can say for instance un livre marron un livre marron okay un livre marron a brown book ça va and then, une table marron, it won't change. Marron, marron will stay the same. Okay, marron, marron. Orange, orange. It does not change. Orange, orange, orange. Okay, marron, chestnut brown. Brown does not change either. They will remain the same for both masculine and feminine and plural nouns. Ça va? Au revoir et bonne journée.